boy. Alright, we're going to take uh, Grover right here for a little walk. So generally, before we go through a door, I usually like to make sure he's under control. You just tell him to wait. Sometimes they can tell him to sit. Sit. Good boy. Tell him to wait. I open the door. Okay, let's go. Then we come through. And then yep. walking around a leash. He walks really nicely on your left. Of course, that uh, helps to remind him when you want to have him on your left. But... He actually is not much of a puller. He does really, really well. So sometimes you have to coax him along and say, come on, let's go. And if he does get in front of you, which uh, we'll see what he does here, usually I'll do is I'll just voice control and say, Grover, this way. This way. And you do a little turn around. Come on your left. Nice meat leaf, though. Very, very nice. I don't think he's really. And if you keep on doing this little drill where you get his attention and focus, he's gonna look at you. He's gonna notice Daniel. He generally stays in my lap. Well. <laughs> really is a champ on a leash. A lot of times dogs tend to be pullers, highly distracted, but uh, he's quite gentle, responds very nicely to a little correction, tell him to get back over here. Responds well when you tell him to leave it. So he's gonna sniff something that he shouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna let him, you know, explore the grass a little bit. If you're going potty in the morning or whatever, you want him to be able to have some time to just walk around, sniff around. Do that little drill right there he gets in the mindset of he needs to be paying attention for his next direction really nice on a leash though Until he finishes that treat. Stay. Uh -uh. Stay. Oh, he has to. Okay. Sit. Stay.
okay. Yes, good job. Good job, Rover. Good boy. Good boy.